So now as we know how to create a Substance Designer material from scratch using Substance Designer's default match. So let's move one step further and create Substance Designer's material using your own custom mesh, which you can model in any software like Maya or Blender, etc. And then import it to Substance Designer and start creating the graph. So without further ado, let's rock and roll and start with this chapter 5 of Substance Designer. Where is the whole locker? And why are these cupboards here? Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, Your Own Training Institute. So today we'll start with our chapter 5 and chapter 5 we are going to work on a complete locker because if you remember in chapter 4 we only made a panel a front panel of this locker and this locker uh, front panel is basically is on a plane and that plane we selected from scene and we use this plane high res but now to create a box shape complete locker and uh, we need a custom made uh, mesh so our final output will be something like this okay you can see the locker just like from this angle from this angle and this angle and this angle and now the problem over here with the substance design is that in the scenes it have only these materials these meshes and it does not have anything which you can customize so we have to make our own custom mesh inside any software that you're using for example 3d studio max blender or maya and then you export it as fbx file or obj file and then you can bring it here inside substance designer so we have created our mesh inside maya so let uh, so let's have a look at that so here we have our custom made uh, box let's save it for now okay so what it is basically it is made out of different planes and you can see there is a top plane here which looks kind of like this okay then we have and these are single sided if i if i will move it up here you can see there is nothing here everything is on the top it's a single sided uh, plane okay then we have front okay this is also single sided left this is also single sided and right this is also single sided and back this is also single sided and bottom which is also single sided now if i will move to lock and gauge which is here wherever lock will be uh like will be hang from this uh, from the side so this is the lock and gauge and we have two sides of lock and gauge so let me drag this down here so there is lock and gauge one which is this uh, side okay and lock and gauge two which is the back side of it and both of these are same but they are side by side and they are placed on top of each other facing in opposite direction this is facing in this direction and this one is facing the opposite direction of that here what we are going to do is that we will make a gauge on this plane and it will be extruded and it will be extruded towards this side and the one that we will create on the other plane will be extruded on this side so they both are on same uvs so once we will create it one will be uh, facing at this part and other will be facing uh, at this part so this is how we will get our uh, like lock and gauge over here same same uh, stuff we have here in the lock so here we will create uh, we will put a lock here so we have one lock here in the front side and the one is at the back side so when we will create a lock so one will be extruding uh, towards the z-axis another will be extruding to the negative z-axis like at the back of it so this is how we will create these and all of them are just planes and this is what substance designer do substance designer takes a plane and it can create any sort of mesh you want on that plane and it will look uh, like a mesh itself it will become like a mesh itself so this is a really a great thing about uh, like, like substance designer it's a very very powerful tool so that's why i like one of my favorite tools and here we have this part this is handle so 
one part is here and other part is at the back so here we are going to put the handle so all of them are planes and what we are going to do now is that uh, once this is saved okay we'll just go to the file okay export all and then we'll export it wherever you want and you can just write whatever like whatever name you want for it like locker box and then you can choose your let's put underscore here without any spaces and then you have to choose files of, of type here fbx or obj but usually uh i use fbx so you can also use fbx and then you can export all and they all will be exported wherever you want and then you can import them in your substance designer so let's close this for now and now let's go back to our substance designer now here in the substance designer what we are going to do is that once we have exported our work we will create a new package here so let's go to the file new substance and i will call this box locker and i will choose everything as it is and i will choose metallic roughness so i will get all these outputs here and i will press ok so once i'm done you can create empty also and you can make your own subs uh like base material just like we did in the like uh, in the previous lessons you can create our own base material and out of that we can make some of our uh, outputs here so it's totally up to you what, uh, how you want but this i find a li little easier to uh, arrange because they all are separated so you can uh, you, you can replace them or you can move them around like the way you want now uh, this is created i will just go and uh, to the files first thing first save it okay and i'll right click here save as and i will go to my chapter file and i will save it as boxlocker.sps save it replace on it so it will be saved so here we got it uh we got our file here okay and here we got our uh node as well so now we are going to import the mesh that we created so i have to go here in the box locker right click and we have two options just like in the previous lessons i explained that if you import so the file will be imported and copied inside your substance designer so if you will change the original the copied file the imported file will not change because it will be a copy not an instance but when you will link any file it will be in an instance so if you will change the original the instance will change because it will be like a child of it like say it's a it's a uh, like a preview file of it so meshes is all are always linked so that if you will uh, re-export from maya and and uh, replace it with a better version of it so automatically it will be changed here so you just have to uh, do the update here and then everything will be uh, changed so it's, it's a very quick process if you want to update so now we will go to link 3d mesh and link the file and we will go inside our locker uh, chapter 5 and then we will take this file locker box and i will open it up And you can see it has started to import and it's imported now and it's have been uh, it has imported the fbx inside our resources folder it created a resources folder and here it is locker box okay so let's save it and bring it here drag it uh, and drop it here inside the 3d view uh usually what it do is that it turns on the environment uh and then you have to turn it off if you want to turn it off so you can turn it off manually so like i said it have uh, op it has opened the environment so we have to go to environment edit and turn it off and if i zoom it out you will see that it is on the top or you can press f on your keyboard and you will get this on the screen so just press f and you will find it because its position is like basically here so it will show you the uh, like uh the bottom part over here because we were in the plane so to get the full picture of it just press f on your keyboard and you will get it so this is what we have on our screen now okay so since we have our uh 
mesh over here. So let's see how we can bring up the UV map here because we need the UV map to mask some parts of it. Otherwise, you don't need it. But usually, it's, it's always better to have a UV map to create different sort of masks like UV masks. So in case if you want to use them in the future. So, so what we need to do here is that we need to bake this mesh. So I will right click over here on our mesh and then I have bake model information. Now what I want to bake, I want to bake the UV map out of it. So I will go here, bake uh, model information. Okay, and it will open it up. And once it is loaded, you will see the screen here. This is our UV. Okay, the one which I showed you before. Uh, and what we need to do here is we have to select our uh, materials here, whatever uh, we need it. Okay, then default size, everything I will keep it. Use uh, low as high definition. You can, uh, if you are using the low definition as a high definition, if you're working on a low polygon, so you can check this out, but I will not do that here. Uh, everything I will keep it as it is, but here in the baker or uh, uh, baker's render list, I will choose a baker, and the baker I will choose here is opacity mask from mesh. So I will select this one, okay, and let's let's click on it. Otherwise, it will keep on showing this error. So select that one, and once everything is ready, so what we can do here is that I can just start doing the render here. And once the rendering is done, and if I will close this one, and you will see that we have this UV map here. So I will drag and drop here our UV map, and you can see this is the UV map basically. Now, one thing is that let's do one thing let's rename this to 2K. Okay. And then you can delete this one here. And then we will go here back and bake another one. And this time what we are going to do, we, we are going to change the resolution because we are using 4K resolution. So I need uh, the, the res like the UV maps resolution to be a little higher. So here, simple thing what I need to do is that for 096 or 096 this time i will uncheck this one otherwise it will overwrite this whatever we have here then i will go here uh, add baker opacity mask here okay and then start a render here you can choose sub mesh okay and you can see that these are our parts it will show you okay just showing you around and this is the materials here that we have okay and then everything i will keep it as it is just I have changed the size, that's all. Then start render and done. We'll close this one, and here we got it. And this one I'll rename it to 4K. And I will drag and drop here. And once I have this here, I can uh, create like mask out of this UV map, this UV map actually. Okay, so how we can do that? I'll take this uh, bitmap of the UV, put it somewhere here, and use it inside flood fill. Okay, and you can see what we have here. Okay, now in the flood fill, I'll use a flood fill to grayscale. And uh, flood fill to grayscale and I will just move this one up here now what I want is a shape okay and then I can create uh, I can connect this to a transform and this transform should not have any tiling so I will go to absolute tiling and turn it off okay now I will take this and drop it to this 
node over here, which says grayscale input. I'll put it here. Now, if I double click it here, okay, you can see I uh, everything is visible. Okay, but if I will go back to my shape, make it smaller, okay, something like this, and go back here, okay, and single click it here. So this is the one I have selected. Now, wherever I will move this, that UV island will be only uh, visible on the screen. So I can choose any tile I want or like I want here. This is the top. I will go here. Okay. And this is for the top tile. And what I can do next is I can on the top maybe. Control C, Control V. Down. Take this one again. Double click here. Take this or oh, single click on this. Go to the other one. This is button. Control C, Control V, or just Control V because already it is copied. Double click it here. Single click here. And this is basically our uh, handle. So control V and this will next here is basically handle we are already done. This is the lock. Okay, control V again. Here. Click and the last one, which is the lock gauge which is this part where the lock is going to be but this is lock gauge and B get here single click here all these are done let's go to the bottom one now here what I will do is that I will make it bigger, but will cover all these four parts. So I don't want a lot of mask. In case if I want, then I can change it and I will keep it a uh, single uh, mask for each side. But for now, I will keep it as it is and I'll select them all, add a frame and I will call this UV show. Or UV shell masks. So to better organize it, I will select all these, put them in straight lines, but they look nice. Okay, so here I can change this uh, color to something else. Maybe I can put it like a purple color because it's a mask, so it can have a different sort of a color. Or maybe I can make it a black color or white color. One. Maybe a white color. Okay, so this is how we can uh, we can import our mesh and we can create mask out of the UV for our mesh inside Substance Designer. Now, in the next chapter, we'll start work. In the next lesson, we'll start work. Uh, like, uh, like, we'll start to work on our uh, like different parts. We'll start with the handle or with the gauge, or whatever we like. We feel we can like work on first, and then we'll keep on uh, like creating our uh, objects over here. So, guys, uh, I hope you have learned something out of this uh, lesson. And thanks a lot, everyone, for joining this lesson. I'm really thankful to you all for supporting me, and I hope to receive your support continuously. I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet. So please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications of the great new contents I will be uploading soon. If you have liked my video, so please hit the like button. And if you have any queries or questions, then leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. 
And one request I have, and that is, I have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them. So please, if anyone is doing that and you find someone doing that, then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and it will demotivate me. So I don't want to stop making tutorials for you all. Therefore, help me get new subscribers. I will take off now, everyone. And take care, guys, till we meet in the next class. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. There is one important announcement I would like to make. I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDI Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z Interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium Plan which will give access to advanced professional tutorials which you will find it very very expensive outside and I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.